Hi, in this tutorial we will see how we can uh, save and restore the position and orientation of an object so that uh, if we change them and uh, at some point in the project we want to restore them to the initial position uh, when we save them, uh, we can do that very easily. So let's say here I want to change uh, the position and orientation of these two uh, seaters uh, sofas and this table. Before doing that, uh, click the object, right, uh, Alt, right click, and click this option here, Freeze Transform. Uh, don't worry about this dialog, I will explain it later. Click Yes. And let's do this for the table. Also, Alt, right click, Freeze Transform. Uh, you can do this for uh, multiple objects at once, by the way. So now, I will take this object and uh, move it around, rotate it. Also this. So, now, I want to restore them to their uh, uh, to the original um, state. So click Alt, right click and choose this option, transform to zero. And also this one, click Alt, right click, transform to zero. Also, you can do this for uh, the uh, rotation only so I will uh, choose this uh, statue here click alt right click freeze rotation now I can move this and I can play with the orientation now if I click it alt right click and choose rotation to zero so what happens is that it will restore the original orientation but it will keep it in this new position. You can do this for single objects or a group of objects. These sofas, for example, they are groups. This is a single object. Now let's talk about this warning. Currently, if I go to the motion panel, I can see that the position is controlled by this algorithm, the position X, Y, Z. Let's say you change that to something else that controls the, uh, uh, the position of the object. Let's say uh, I will go to constraints and choose path constraints. <coughs> and I click this path. Now if I play the animation, the position is controlled by this path now. Now if I click and I'll try to click and choose freeze transform. It is telling me that I'm gonna lose this uh, this animation here. Now, if I click OK and try to play the animation, I lost it. Okay, now I will do the constraining again. Choose this path. If I click the box, I'll try to click and choose freeze rotation alone. <coughs> now, if I decided to uh, rotate the box, now I can right click and choose rotation to zero. I can restore the uh, original orientation and this will not affect affect the uh, the animation. Also, another example, I will go to animation uh, to the motion panel for the position. If I click here and I choose, let's say, uh, noise position controller. Now, if I play, uh, if I click play, so now the position is controlled by this algorithm. If I right click and say, Freeze transform. Now 
if I click play, I lost this uh, animation here. Now, again, I will choose uh, position, noise. Also here, I can, if I click and right click, uh, Alt right click and choose freeze rotation. I can uh, play with the rotation. I still have the noise. Alt right click, rotation to zero. And I still have the noise because the noise is affecting the position and not the rotation. But if I decide to assign a controller to the rotation, let's say noise rotation, and for the uh, position, I will change it back to uh, position XYZ. Now, if I play the animation, the rotation is controlled by the noise. Now, Alt, right click, freeze rotation. Now, if I play the animation, I lost the, uh, this uh, noise controller that was controlling the orientation. So, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you like it. If you do, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and maybe to support this channel more, you can click the heart, the uh, thanks button. And uh, see you on the next video. Thank you.